Hello, Pio Nation. I hope you are doing well today. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Married Ecology Sports. It is homecoming. The alumni are here. They're on campus. It has been an incredible experience for the past couple of days. And of course, what a great way to celebrate homecoming by having an Overwatch match against an OAC team such as Ohio Northern University. That's right. We are playing against ONU in just a matter of minutes as part of the Great Lakes Esports Conference. So as I'm waiting for the lobby information, let's take a look at who will be playing for today. Excuse me. So, if I remember correctly, uh, we will have at Tank, uh, Junior Dylan Poles Rez, and we will have uh, Freshman Faith Clark Darkcry. And then at DPS, uh, we are going to have first-timer, sophomore Aaron Crum, the Spoon Goon. He is a fan favorite in our Rainbow Six matches. So, of course, he's going to be a fan favorite here in Overwatch as well. Uh, also at DPS, uh, we will have freshman Stacey Swartz Gearwolf. And then at support, we will have sophomore Tyler Sananitra Azadale and senior Manning Shaw Granny Sunade. So the Pioneers have been working very hard all season and then gone up against some very good teams, and Ohio Northern is no different. Um, but yeah, so we will be having that match up in a little bit. So let me double check um, because I have not heard anything about uh, the lobbies or anything. So let me just let me double check here to make sure that everything is good. I just want to answer sure who I should DM him. Give me one second here as I try to check uh, who I should be getting a hold of to make sure uh, that we do have everything in the lobby uh, set up here. So let me pull this up. Uh, meanwhile, while we're waiting, thank you so much uh, for all of your support. Uh, we just finished up our... Um, virtual stadium sellout so thank you for all your gifts and your support if you want to continue supporting the esports program there are other ways you can still go to the marietta site uh, to give a donation or you can uh, follow or subscribe to our uh, twitch channel here uh, so if you have an amazon prime account then you can create a twitch account for free uh, which will allow you uh, to get access to our vods and custom emotes um, a lot of nice perks for supporting the esports program, and it has helped us a lot with getting equipment, apparel, uh, being able to support teams. So it has been a, a huge help uh, here for us. Okay, so let me see what is going on here. Let me double check. I'm not so sure who, okay, give me one second here. Yeah, I'm just double checking here with the Hound about getting the lobby set up for our match here. So give me one moment. All right, so while we're waiting to hear back uh, from that, a couple of other announcements. So if you are looking to participate in Marietta College Esports, we are always looking uh, for more people, whether you're a student on campus or whether you're a high school senior. Uh, we provide a variety of, uh, of teams here. So whether it's Fortnite or Hearthstone, League of Legends, obviously Overwatch is they're playing uh, hopefully very soon. Rainbow Six, Rocket League, Super Smash Bros., Valorant. Uh, so we have a variety of teams here. Uh, we've got a great facility here on campus. And we've actually picked up a couple of volunteer coaches for a few of our teams. So we are expanding our staff. Uh, a lot of great things going on here. So if you are a high school senior and you are interested uh, in learning more about our esports program, you can fill out our uh, online recruitment form at bit.ly slash mcrecruit. Uh, and we will be able to... Uh, talk to you more about our program. Along with that, we do offer scholarships uh, to participate in our esports program. 
Uh, we do have certain dates for our tryouts. Our next tryout date will be on Saturday, November 13th. Uh, that is during our next open house event. So if you do come to our open house event, uh, then you can uh, try out for a scholarship while you are here. So it's just three steps to be uh, to participate in that. Uh, once again, fill out recruitment form at bit.ly slash MC recruit. Uh, fill out an application for admission at marion.edu slash apply. And then fill out our tryout uh, form at bit.ly slash MC eSport tryout. There are two T's uh, with that. The QR codes are on your screen, so you can screenshot this and then take a picture on your camera, uh, on your phone, you pull it up and you can fill out the form that way. Okay, I'm getting word that we're getting things set with the lobby. All right, yeah, so we should be getting things up and running very soon. I just got word from Ohio Northern that they did get the uh, they have the lobby up. So just give us a few minutes here as we're getting everyone in the lobby set up. This will be a best of five uh, series. I don't know what will be the first map. Ohio, Ohio Northern is the home team, so they will get to choose uh, the first control map. So I do know that much. Okay. Yeah, we should be... There we go. I got the friend request. So I should be getting invited soon. Now I just need to invite everyone. Let's see here. I'm just getting a couple things here set for the lobby, guys. So hang tight with me as I'm. Uh, Getting it all set up. Oh. Yep, so yeah, just getting, trying to get everything here set for the lobby to make sure we have everyone in the right spots. Apologize for the uh, the silence there, folks. I'm just trying to talk uh, talk with the uh, the team here. We got we already have the lobby up in here, and just trying to make sure that everyone's in the right place and we have the right spectators. Because right now they still have me on the team. Okay, now they got me off. Okay, because I should not be playing this game. You don't want me playing this game. But all right, so I think everything there is good. So I'm going to go ahead and get the game audio set up, and it looks like the first map is going to be Dijon Tower. Yeah, so we're just getting everything here set up. So far, it looks like Lijon, but uh, High Northern does have the first pick. So we'll see if they stick with Lijon or if they're going to go with a different uh, for control map for this best of five series. Uh, while we're waiting, we'll go and take a look at the uh, remaining schedule for the Great Lakes Esports Conference. So next Saturday, um, the Pioneers will be going up against Trine University. And then... Supposedly the next match with Mount Vernon Nazarene is supposed to be the following Saturday, but it looks like that's going to be rescheduled. So we are going to get that information out to you once we know for sure. So please be sure to follow us on all of our social media channels, whether it's Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all at Marietta Esports for the latest updates. I would recommend Twitter because that's probably the one where we put the most announcements or Facebook as well. Uh, but uh, we will let you know when that match with Mount Vernon Nazarene will be. Uh, we also have a couple matches in the NACE Challenger Series. So we will pl be playing against UC Davis on Monday at 8.30. So you can come back here to check that out. Um, and I don't know who will be the opponents for the following weeks because it is a, a Swiss format. So we're always playing against teams that have the same win-loss ratio as us. Okay. I think the ready checks are coming in. Ohio Northern is saying that they're ready. So when Marietta says that, we're, that they're ready, we will get things underway. But yeah, they did confirm it will be Lijon Tower. 
for the uh, first map. I'm just waiting for Marietta to say that they're ready. And we should be good soon ish. Maybe. I think they're talking over some things. Marietta's saying they're ready. And here we go. Now arriving at Yijang Papa. So, all right, Marietta College versus Ohio Northern University on Lijon Tower. We do have the tower right here. So we will see what everyone decides to go with, what compositions everyone will be playing. I have some theories, but I'm just going to wait and see what they go with. I wouldn't be surprised if, they, if uh, either side went with a Symmetra approach to use the teleport to get right onto the control point very early. Uh, I know Rez has been playing a lot of Reinhardt, so we'll probably see him sticking around. There's the Reinhardt, there's the Symmetra from Gearwolf. Spoon Goon's been playing very well on the Hanzo and the warm-up games earlier today. Darkrai is going to be on the Diva. Grandison Nade on the Mora. Loves playing that Mora. So now we'll just see what support Azadel wants to play. Whether it's maybe the Lucio or the Brigitte. Uh, but meanwhile, we are going to see uh, pretty much a lot of the champions that Maria does not Five, like against the uh, here. With the Winston, two, the Pharmacy, one, the Tracer. So they're going to be a Capture lot of up in your face as well as the Hector Distance. So we'll see how Marietta can handle against that pharmacy combination. Teleport's going to be coming out, and it does land, so Marietta will get onto the point first. Hound Northern will be rotating in. That Ryan Shield is up to try to provide some cover. Uh, so Marietta is going to see what kind of damage to do. Shuba is very low on health. Darkcry is going to lose her mech. And Asdale gets taken down, so is Granny Sinade. So Hound Northern is just collapsing on the Pioneers. And it, what, it is a team kill. They'll take out that teleport, and Iowa Gordon will take the, uh, the control point first. So now it's going to matter is how will Marietta respond to this. We already see Rise of Fire at 89% on ult charge. So that barrage is going to be ready probably by the next fight. We're seeing Gearwolf is going to be swapping over to uh, the Reaper. Spoon is going to be swapping over to Kree, although I guess now it's going to be Cassidy pretty soon. So I'm sure that's going to be debated for a while. Mary is going to rotate around to the back way. But we already see that barrage is ready to go. So Rise of Fire is looking for an opportunity to launch that barrage. Marietta is trying to look for that possible pick. Tracer is going to try to flank from the side and cause the disruption. There's the false one coming out. Does take them. Asdale does get taken down by the Farah. And there's the barrage taking out two, three of the pioneers. And Ohio North is just picking off Marietta by, one by one, forcing them to retreat. So they will end up falling back to their spawn point. Just a lot of projectiles coming up by Ohio Northern. We're seeing, uh, yeah, with the Zarya, with the Farah. Marietta cannot take some poke damage. The point's already at 68%. So they're going to have to find a way to get onto the point. Granite Sinade does have ult ready. So does Asdale. Asdale, already under half health, has to get healed up by Granite Sinade. Marietta will rotate around to the side. Darkrai is trying to eat up a little bit of that damage. But Marietta's taking some poke damage. Spoon Boom already at half, but getting healed up a little bit. But we see that Winston coming from behind, flanking a big anti there by uh, H50. And we're seeing a lot of damage. There's the, another barrage. There's that barrage by Rising Fire already ready to go. And with that, Ohio Lord is going to be able to hold the point, not even having to use some of their alts. So very strong performance there by Ohio Lord. And we knew that they were a very good team, quite possibly the best team in the GLDC. I'd have to actually double check the standings. Actually, let me, do, let me double check the standings. I am curious. Let's see here. We can look at the standings here. Actually, Hound Northern is five is four and one right now. They do have one loss I don't know up against. But still, they are a very good team. In fact, all the teams that Mary will be facing for the remainder of the GLC schedule are currently four and one. Three, two, one. So 
not going to see a teleport strat by Marietta, but we're going to see Ohio Northern using the teleport strat this time. So they're going to be onto the point first. But Marietta's going to try to rotate to the side. Rez is leading the charge with that shield, but it's not going to hold very long. And a huge boop there by Ohio Northern, taking out Spoon Goon and Azadale. So with that, High Gordon's gonna be able to win this fight and just clean up it. So High Gordon will capture the point first, but that was a huge play there by Mena on the Lucio for High Northern, just being able to boot uh, off a couple of players. And Overwatch is just one of those games where you take down one person, that is gonna be enough to win the fight. The Marietta cannot allow that to happen again. And we do see some Symmetra turrets right there. So Marietta's gonna have to go through a different route. Otherwise, they're gonna be taking a lot of unnecessary damage from those turrets. We're waiting for everyone to kind of group back up. Rez is taking a couple seconds here. Not too sure uh, what was taking so long. Is Dark Tribe going to be swapping? I'm not too sure what she's doing. Everyone's okay, swapping over to Zarya. But now it's going to be a 5v6 by doing that late swap. And meanwhile, How Northern is just getting ticks onto the control point. But now they're going to have to wait for Zarya to come back. There she is. But now they got the worst way. Rez is already charging in, and the rest of the Pioneers are not with him. They've got to make sure they're on point here, otherwise something like that will happen. So they've already lost their front liner. The Iron Lord is going to start collapsing on Dark Red. Tanks are down, so all that's left is the Squishies. The Beat's going to be coming out for Ohio Northern. The Ohio Northern is cleaning up. They're trying to take down... Reaper Gewolf's trying to get away from it, but she is going to get taken down, so a very late kill there is going to force the Pioneers to be staggered. They're going to have to wait for Gearwolf to res. Now the point's at 78%. They may only have, like, one fight left. Meanwhile, Hound Northern has five alts ready to go, while Marion has three. They might have four for Spoon. But this is going to be final fight. Mary is going to have to make a play. Rez already jumps down. Maybe a little too soon. But Striders teleports up top and takes down several. Gearwolf tries to pop her Death Blossom. But it's not going to do a whole lot. And Hyrule Northern's going to push back the Pioneers. And they will take the map and the... Well, the round and the map. Play the game will go to Mena, and it's going to be with those boops on the Lucio there on that second map here. Is that what helps solidify? Yeah, just using the fact that they were right like Cliff, taking out Spoon, doing it again to take out uh, Azadale. So that High Northern will take the first map. So Marietta will get to choose the, the next one. So we'll see what they decide to go with here. I remember right it is it should be a hybrid map so well, i'll just wait and see what they have to say Marietta is still debating about which map they want to play against the high northern It looks like they're going to be going with Eichenwald. We'll see what side Ohio Northern wants to go with. I'm going to suspect that they'll want to play on defense. But overall, that last map, like, I don't know if there was a whole lot that Marietta could have done. Like I said before, Ohio Northern is a, a very, very good Overwatch team. Uh, just being able to find the picks quickly, be able to collapse. And that's something that's just going to... Uh, it's just going to take development from our Overwatch team. They're still very new. Uh, we, we picked up a couple of players over the past few weeks, and we're uh, very appreciative of, of some of our newer players. I mean, shout out here to Rez uh, and Spoon Goon. They're actually on our Rainbow Six team, and they have uh, decided that we're going to help out with Overwatch, so we do appreciate that. But all right, we are in the game, so let's get into it ourselves. So Marietta will be on offense first, Ohio Northern will be on defense, which makes sense because if Ohio Northern gets a very uh, strong defense, then it won't take much for them to be able to uh, take the map. 
So it's really going to come down to this archway right here for the Pioneers. It's a big bottleneck to be able to get to the point. So how will Marietta handle this? Uh, we will see what kind of composition uh, both sides will go with. Ready for battle. All right, so we're still going to see that Diva Ryan combo by Marietta. Granny and I is going to be swept into the Baptiste this time, as they will be using Lucio for the speed boosts. Uh, Smoogun's going to be sticking with McCree. Meanwhile, Gearwolf will be on the May, uh, looking to try to slow down Ohio Northern. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to see a Ryan Sigma combination. Very interesting tank choice. But we are going to looks like see that their DPS is going to try to get into their face with the Sombra and the Doomfist. Marietta is going to have to be able to respond to those flanks. Uh, meanwhile, going with a pretty aggressive support line with the, the Zenyatta and uh, Ana there. So I think Ana is trying to do a little more offense. They don't necessarily need as much healing. Great shield there by Rez for that immediate uh, stun. And now Marietta is going to try to move on the side. They know the Sombra is over there chasing her down. They are going to... They are a little split though, so they gotta be careful. Sombra is gonna get spot out and going to teleport away. Meanwhile, Marietta is so split right now, they're just out of healing range. But Spoongoon does take down Balder, so that might be Marietta's opportunity to move forward. And Spoongoon takes down Zenyatta as well, so that's two down on the Highland Northern, and Marietta will push forward. Spoongoon is very low on health though, he did get anti, and Rez is slept. The Marietta is working their way onto the point, but they just need to find a couple more picks. Striders is a little low in health, but gets healed back up. And we're gonna see Spoonfist is already in place. And the Dawn is down for Ohio Northern. Marietta is onto the point, but two for Marietta have fallen. So right now it's a five and four. Spoon does go down. Immortality Field comes up, but it's not enough to keep the Pioneers alive. And Ohio Northern is able to hold on. So it was a great attempt by Marietta. They got the pick they needed. But on the follow-up, Ohio Northern was able to react more quickly. Now Marietta will try again. Uh, Juba already has the Shatter ready to go, so I expect to see that in this next fight. Marietta is pushing their way, trying to go around the tower, but there's Balder already taking out Spoon. There's the Shatter from behind by Shuba. Able to set the play and take down the Pioneers one by one. Dark Rise out of Math is going to be taken out. All that's left is Azadale, so he's going to have to retreat. Kyle Norton's trying to chase him down. But he is back at the spawn point. Marina will try again. And there's the EMP by the uh, Sombra and the Sigma all A huge combination there. Already taken out two for the Pioneers. And the Highland Northern is cleaning up. Minute 45 remains on the clock. The good news is Marietta does have four of their ults ready to go. So they should be able to use some on this next fight. So your Dupus is looking for that flank. He's going to get spotted out. Can Marietta punish this? He's going to pop Meteor Strike to get out. Transcendence is going to come out to keep uh, Dupus alive. Does a lot of damage. And Highland Northern is pretty much right on top of Marietta's spawn point. Immortality Field has to come out to keep everyone alive. Asdale does get taken down though by Balder. And there's the Shatter by Rez, but it's going to get shielded, so not going to be very effective. And Pioneers are going to fall one by one. Darker is going to pop the Demon back, but it's going to be double shielded. So not be able to do a whole lot there. Down 43 seconds remain, and Marietta is just stuck at their spawn point. Darker is going to have to use Ice Block to stay alive. Rez is already taken down from the Diva. Darkman Flux comes out for the Sigma, taking out Gearwolf. I knew it's coming out by Spoon, but it's going to get shielded by the Rhine, so not going to connect with anyone. And we're just seeing the dominance by Ohio Northern because of how well they're able to focus our EMP comes out, Transcendence, they're popping everything just to prevent Marietta from being able to make a play. Blizzard's going to be coming out by Gearwolf. 
Uh, no follow up there. And no one from Marion is going to be able to get to the point, so High Norton's going to be able to hold very easily. Yeah, we were just seeing how well How Norton is able to win the first couple of fights without any ults, which means then they're able to pop an ult or two uh, for every fight and just kind of chain them. And that's just allowing them to get the picks they need and to win the fights. Very only hand, they started very strong. Uh, they were able to get a couple of picks, but High Norton was able to rack better and win the team fights even though when they were down by one or two people. So Marion needs to find a way to be on the same page to take out a target. I I don't know if it's just that they're looking at different targets, but they're struggling to tar get, take down the right targets is what I think is a, that's what's happening here. So now we're at the point where Ohio Northern just needs to uh, get one tick on the, the payload, and that will be enough to secure the map. So we see Marion is going to... Go with a, uh, a more brawly type uh, composition here. Bring out the Roadhog, bring out the Reaper. Brandon's not going to be put back on the Mora, but really trying to get into a High Northern space. Uh, meanwhile, we do see the Symmetra coming out for High Northern, so they must be using a teleport strat to try to get one to the point very quickly. Because all they have to do is just win one fight, and that should be enough to take the map. Defend objective A. I don't know, just kind of taking their time. It's like they're kind of waiting for Marietta to make a move here. So there's the teleporter. Yeah, so the pop of teleporter May comes out to draw out the pioneers, and now here's the rest of Hound Urban to flank from the side. See, as there wasn't on the Baptiste, but. Now we're seeing a two for two trade right now, but High Northern is on to the point. Rez has been anti, and he's about to be taken down. And Marietta is not going to be able to get the fix they need. All that's left is Asdale on the Baptiste. And that's going to be enough for Ohio Northern. Well, Asdale's going to try to hold on. He's still on there, trying to delay as much as he can. Grand Tsunade is back. But Ohio Northern is going to be trying to recontest as well, but Marietta is trying to collapse. But they need to get back onto the point. They're just like one tick away from taking it. They need to take out this Roadhog. And it's like 5v1. Why? Now they've taken out the Roadhog. And then here comes Ryan. And Marietta is holding. But I'm not so sure what Ohio Northern is doing right now. I think they're trying to come up with something a little cheeky, if you will. They're just kind of taking their good old time. So they are popping to teleport and they're trying to... Okay, at this point they're just messing around. They're just testing out teleport onto their roof. Shatter comes out, it's going to catch several of the findings and we're trying to kill comes out and the barrier. So Hondor is popping a bunch of their ults right now and it's starting to take down the Pioneers one by one and that's going to be enough to capture the point and take the map. Play the game. Play the game. We'll go into Shuba with that uh, Ryan Shatter, I believe. Yeah, just coming from the behind. Catching several of the Pioneers. That a high level will take the second uh, map there without too much trouble. You thought so that does mean that Marietta business, will get the. They will get the third. Marietta will get to choose the third map, and Ohio will get to choose the side. It will be escort. We'll see what Mary decides to go with, but I would anticipate that uh, Ohio Northern will choose to be on uh, defense first. Alright, looks like Marietta is going to be requesting a five-minute break. 
So we will go ahead and take a break ourselves. Yeah, so we are at match point, but don't go away. You are watching Mary the College Esports. Have you heard what happened to those with curious minds? They packed up, broke free of conventions. These prospectors of knowledge are blazing a new trail, joining the long line of those who sought adventure and prepared for anything. This is the time. This is the place. Bring forth a pioneer.
All right, and welcome back. Uh, everyone's getting back into the lobby. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be Havan. They've all, everyone's already saying they're ready. I gotta get over here. Hello. We are in Havana. Merida will be on offense first. It is match point for Ohio Northern, but we'll see what Marietta decides to go with. Ready for battle. We're going to see a little bit of a change up here. It looks like Rez is going to be on the Winston. Uh, as they will be on the Zenyatta, Gearwolf will be using Soldier 76. Attackers we'll see how that goes against Ohio Northern. So they're going to be, looks like a couple of snipers there with the Widowmaker, the Ana. Ash, not so much of a sniper, but can still do a lot of damage from a distance. So we are going to be seeing some of that poke uh, from Ohio Northern. Chuba going to be on the, the Zarya to be able to kind of launch the projectiles. Alright, so Marietta's going to be just like rotating around. They're not even going to worry about the middle. Interesting, because the payload is over there. And then they're looking to try to get some picks before even going straight to the payload. Now, Rez is way out there by himself. That's a little risky. And he's going to get punished for that. Marietta's just looking to try to get the picks, but Ohio Northern is not falling for it, and they're able to take out the mech, take out uh, Pioneers one by one. And Rez is going to be taken out, so now the Pioneers are very staggered, and this is going to be a high Northern's chance to just keep him at the spawn. Red side would come out to knowing exactly where Mary's gonna be coming out from. The Mary needs to find the pick. If they're, they gotta move out as a group and collapse, but they're just not finding an opportunity to even leave their spawn points. Everyone just seems to be so split. It's like. It's almost like they're not even worried about the uh, the point anymore. They're just looking to try to get some picks. We do see a couple picks there. The Ryan's got taken out, but he will get rezzed by the Mercy. Rez will, will actually start up the payload, so the Pioneers are finally starting to try to push off Ohio Northern to make across the payload. Ryan does charge in, gets a shatter off technique with three, and the rest of Ohio Northern will collapse. All lessons will be coming out for Granny Tsunade. The Grav and Demon Bombs will be coming out. Baldur will be taken down by Dark Ride, but not before several of the Pioneers do fall, but the Rising Fire does get taken out. That is going to be Mary's opportunity to start pushing that payload. And Grace and I is able to pick off the, uh, the Widowmaker. Bomb's going to be coming out uh, for the Dawn. It's going to be slept and hacked. And will be taken down. Infrared Sight comes out again by H50. About a minute remains. Marion is getting a couple picks here and there. Now we're seeing Tactical Visor coming out by a Spoon. He seems to be able to, he does connect with two. And Marietta is pushing. They may be able to get this first uh, point with 30, right now about 30 seconds remains. 
seconds remaining. A big shadow there though by Rise of Fire takes out two of the pioneers. Ten cents is gonna be coming out by Striders. Tamarita's gonna have to get up to the point, but I don't think they're gonna be able to, so how only will hold. Tamarita was very close, about less than three meters away. It was pretty obvious that there was a little bit of back and forth going there. Marita trying to get a couple of picks to push the payload. I don't know if Ohio Northern gave everything they had there, but initiating we di Marietta did at least make some progress to it. So that is going to be the win condition for Ohio Northern. So that means Marietta is going to have to find a way to hold Ohio Northern for a long amount of time to make sure they don't get to that first checkpoint. We'll see what uh, everyone decides to go with for the compositions. Ready for battle. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. We see Gearwolf on the uh, the Sombra here looking to try to get some hacks off. It looks like Marina going with pretty much the same composition they had while on offense. Ohio Northern is going to be with the same composition except for the tanks, bringing out the uh, Wrecking Ball and Roadhog. Fire with the Wrecking Ball, trying to cause some destruction on the Marietta's back line. They, see at that point, they need to be able to class out. They actually got very low, but they were not able to finish them off. So Hyrule Norton's going to be able to push the payload quite a bit. Rise of Fire is going to be knocking everyone around. And two of the Pioneers have already been taken out, and diva has been demacked. The Pioneers have been taken out one by one. That's a, that is an official team kill. So now Ohio Norton is just going to be pushing that payload. Marietta might be able to get one more fight in beforehand, but Ohio Norton is trying to buy a lot of space, already picking out Granny Tsunade. But H50 does get taken out, so Rez and Gearwolf are trying to get over to the payload to contest it. And we're already seeing Transcendence coming out by Striders, and Marietta's trying to get the stop. They do take down Shuba, so it's just Rise and Fire on the payload with Wrecking Ball, but we see the rest of Ohio Northern collapsing back onto that payload. Rez does get taken out though, so it's just Gearwolf and uh, Spoon right there, but the rest of the Pioneers are falling in line. And we're seeing Marietta taking off Ohio Northern one by one. At this point, I think Ohio Northern is just kind of... They're confident that they'll be able to close this out. But they're going to be regrouping. Anti comes out onto Rez, or comes out Dark Cry. And gets taken down. Now, how Norton's going to continue to push. The mine's going to be coming out, and that's going to push Marietta off. So now they're going to have to hold here. EMP does come out there, and so is Coalescence. They will take down Bolt, but Gearwolf does get taken down, though. Now, uh, Rise of Fire is going to be coming and causing disruption to the Pioneers as well. But they got to find an answer to that Wrecking Ball, find a way to slow him down, but just kind of going all over the place. And it's a one-for-one -one trade on the supports. And here comes Bob. The Gearwolf will hack the Bob. Sacrifice comes up for Spoon Gear, but unfortunately does get taken down. Bob's gonna take down Darkrai. Shadow's gonna be coming up by Rez. Kex with four, but he's gonna get taken down, and the Highland Northern will close out this match. Victory. So maybe a little bantering going on there. But Ohio Northern will take the series.
play of the game. Play of the game will go to Striders on the Zenyatta. Ohio Northern will win the series uh, three to zero. I mean, we knew Ohio Northern was just a a very very good game, uh, a very good team, I should say, and it definitely showed. So that will be it uh, for us uh, today. Uh, as a reminder, we will have our next Overwatch match on Monday at eight thirty against University of California uh, Davis. So please be sure to come back to to check that out. Uh, for all the latest updates of what's going on with Married College Esports, please be sure to follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that Marietta Esports. You can check out our YouTube channel at bit.ly slash Marietta Esports to check out all of our, ma our previous matches. So thank you so much uh, for watching, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day.